Hello, today I will show you how to take a widget created in Google Web Toolkit, uh, make it a jar out of it and include it in another Google Web Toolkit project um, because uh, sometimes you want to reuse um, objects. So um, first of all let me show you what we're going to be making a jar of. So let me quickly um, run this project at this web application. Um, that's fine. Let's wait a little. So this is a little uh, balloon widget. Um, I'm passing a text to it and um, and basically uh, I'm gonna make a jar and use it in another project. So first of all uh, balloon class is the uh, is the class that I'm gonna be using uh, just for sake of uh, demonstration I'm gonna include word worked in uh, inside all right let's refresh it okay so if it works if I can include this uh, balloon in another project it's gonna say it worked the way it is I'm closing this uh, let me explain a little about the project structure so all the files that we're gonna be including in the jar are inside the uh, source folder uh, first of all I'm gonna be including inside the contactical balloon that's that's our root um, I'm gonna be including balloon.guid.xml so this is very simple there is not much to it all really there is that the module is gonna be the rename to balloon for compilation uh, also I have a public balloon gray left uh, folder where all the images are that actually create the balloon and I have one class that we just looked at okay that is the balloon that's all I'm gonna include so to create a jar I right click export jar file next let me make the window a little bigger I'm gonna unselect everything expand it expand the source folder since we are all the files are in there and now the images all the images let me expand it more so we have all the images also we have the balloon.gwt.xml and finally the the balloon.java and this is really all the files that I want to include right now I selected check uh, export generated class files and resources export Java sources uh, and resources okay I'm gonna increase the version from the previous one and hit finish now the jar file is created in the root of my workspace so you can see this is a new file that I just created that was the previous one I'm gonna copy this file and include it in in the war web INF library of another project okay so I'm just gonna paste it here and you can see this is the version I, I just created right I can close this right now also I don't need this project anymore so I'm gonna close this project I'm gonna open a new project find the project that I want to include this to here we go the project is nice and red because we're missing we're missing balloon you can see we're missing the balloon okay now since I copied the balloon already in the library I would hope that it's there if it's not there, it's not there. If it's not there, sometimes you have to refresh. Here we go. This is our version of the balloon. Now Eclipse still doesn't know about this, so we're gonna do project properties. 
uh, Java build path libraries, add the jars. It actually knows that there is a jar missing. We're including the jar we just pasted. Here we go. Click OK. And here we go. The project is not red anymore. Now, let me just uh, run this project as web application. Uh, I believe this is it. And let's wait for it to build. And you can see that uh, that word worked is there and the balance display correctly. Thank you.